Hello and Namaskar. Welcome to another session of BW Farhana Tidbits, where I share some of my knowledge and experience. My name is Devan Shumukarji and today we are going to discuss selective deletion via program for advanced DSOs in BW Farhana. So there have been some questions around the previous functionalities available in prior BW versions, whether they are still there in BW for HANA 1.0 and 2.0 for advanced DSOs. And one of them is selective deletion generation via the program. So the question is, is it still there? Do we still have that functionality in BW for HANA? So in this video, we'll try to answer that question and we'll try to see if that functionality is there and if it is there, then how does that work? So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so now let's dive right into the theory first and then we will jump into the system to see the demo. So let me give you a little bit of a context here of what we are talking about and then we will see the demo in the system. So in our previous BW versions, we had an option to generate a program with the desired name to do selective deletion from InfoCubes and DSOs of the past. But the question is, do we still have that program applicable in BW for HANA 2.0 and 1.0 for advanced ADSOs? And the answer, my friends, is yes, we do. And the program name is rsdrd underscore delete underscore facts. And via this program, we will generate our own uh, program with our desired name to do selective deletion. So let's jump into the system and do that right away. So let me log in into the Eclipse. So this is my Eclipse and I am logged into my BW for HANA 2.0 SP4 version here and here let me expand favorites. I have my info area. These are folders, but actually these are info areas. So that's how the Eclipse will show you the info areas. And I'll open one of the data flows from my recent batch. And we will look at one of the data flows, which is sales item LSA++ for uh, the recent batch. So if you open this data flow, you can easily visualize the flow of the entire data right from the ODP CDS based source system where we are using CDS views from S4HANA and then we have a data source, we have the staging ADSOs, info source, we have the data warehousing ADSO and then we have the composite provide and then we have some additional uh, objects as well. So today we are going to focus on the selective deletion from the data warehousing standard ADSO. So let me open and show you what kind of ADSO this is. So if you right click and say open, it's going to go to the editor screen of the ADSO and it's also going to highlight that particular ADSO on your left hand panel and it will show you where exactly this is. But for this to work, you should have this small checkbox or the option I should say check which is a link with editor. So as you can see, this is a standard ADSO and we have change log here. So now we will quickly look at the data. To look at the data, we'll go to the properties. Okay, let's first click here. We'll go to the properties. We'll go to DDIC tab and we see that all the tables are listed here. We'll go to the active table here. We'll go to display data. And when you click on display data, because you are going at a table level, it needs an ABAP project, which is connected to your BW. So there are two types of projects and I have uh, a different video which I'll uh, soon release where I'll show you what types of projects in Eclipse you have to create in order to work with BW for HANA. So the first type of project is BW project where you will deal with advanced DSOs, composite providers and BW related objects. But the second type of project you also have to create to your BW system and that type of project is ABAP project type which will allow you to go and look at the table which will allow you to write code in your transformation and you um, at a, basically at a database level or at a code level, if you are doing something, you need an ABAP project, but we will deal in deal with that uh, in a separate video. So let me log in quickly here. 
to the ABAP project because I'm looking at the table directly, I have to log in with the ABAP project. Okay, so now it found the ABAP project successfully and we can see the data in the advanced ADSO. So let's take a document number. So we'll take document number 11 and you can see that we have two line items. So we have two records for this document, line item number 10 and line item number 20. And we have the other sold to country company code, etc. Now, what we are going to do is let's keep this open and we will go to the GUI session, SAP GUI within Eclipse. So I'm not uh, navigating out of Eclipse to our logon pad within Eclipse. Just press control six. Make sure you are in the BW for HANA perspective here on the top. And then if you press control six, it will ask you for a GUI launcher. Make sure you select the correct project. So we have two types of project uh, as I was mentioning, BW type and ABAP type. So we'll select BW type of project and we will say, okay, this will open the SAP GUI session within the Eclipse. And here you can write your T codes. So here I'll go for SE38 because it's a program and the program is RSDRD underscore delete. Just press star and hit on this F4. So this is the name of the uh, program, RSDRD delete facts, click on execute. And here we will give the data target. So this is my data target. So I'll copy the name, I'll go back there, put the name there. And because I'm using a technical name, not the description of the advanced DSO, I'll use technical name. Now we, uh, we have three options, direct deletion, generate selection program and generate deletion program. So what is the difference? Direct deletion means you will be taken to the direct deletion screens and you can do the direct deletion. There won't be any program generated. The second option is selective deletion program. By selection program, it actually means selective deletion. And this deletion is complete deletion. So the entire contents will be deleted. So the main purpose here is for us to do selective deletion. So we will choose this and here with your own desired naming convention, you can provide the name. So I'll give Z cell del underscore the name of the ADSO AIT BD3. And I can say 01 because in future, if I have, if I want to generate more programs on the same ADS, so I can give the next sequential number. So with this, we will click on execute. And this is now going to generate the selective deletion program with this naming convention for this ADSO. So let's give it a few seconds. So as you can see that this particular program still exists in BW for HANA 2.0. That means it is applicable for advanced ADSOs or advanced DSOs, I should say, uh, in PW for HANA 2.0. Same thing will be applicable for 1.0 as well. All right, so let's uh, give it a few seconds. And uh, while we are doing that, we'll go back to the data preview of the active table. This is the active table and we have 11 document number 11 and sales order item 10. So I'll just copy this document number. I'll just copy this, go back here. Okay. So it's still generating the program for me. So we'll just give it a few seconds because it is reading. So behind the scenes, what's happening is it's reading the advanced DSO and it's reading what are the different attributes we have uh, because when the selective deletion program is generated, it has to give you the ability to provide selections for all the attributes, all the info objects, like what we saw as document number, we had the item number, we had the sold to country, company code, etc., distribution channel, etc. So it is generating the program for us to actually be able to provide the selections for all those attributes and then uh, run the program. And this particular program, basically uh, you can either use it in your ABAP code or you can also put it in a process chain. If you want to run this as a regular, uh, maybe monthly or quarterly uh, program to do selective deletion, then you can also put it as a part of the process chain. And the process type will be the ABAP program, of course, and this is going to be the name of your program. 
all right so let's uh, wait for it okay so as you can see the hour class is gone so that means this program is generated so now what we'll do is we'll copy this program name we'll open another session make sure the project is bw project and here we will go to se38 we'll put the program name and we will say execute so as you can see here it is giving you an option to choose all uh, the info objects and the selections for the info objects so this is what the program was trying to do and if you want to see the code for this you can select source code and you can say display it's going to ask you the ABAP project as I told you before to look into table at a database level to look into the code you will need ABAP type of a project so we'll select the ABAP project pointing to same PRM system but type of project is ABAP click on OK and this is going to take you to the code editor which is the new Eclipse native uh, ABAP code editor so this is how it will look like this is a generated program and it will give you who generated it and what was the date and time and then you can see the report name is the same name which we gave this entire code is automatically generated as you can see and if you scroll down keep scrolling down you will see that it has the selections for company code for country for uh, category for debit credit indicator distribution channel division etc so all the info objects are there in this particular code as a selection criteria and then if you scroll to the bottom you will see the actual program which is triggered here it is which is the main program rsdrd selective relation which you know is used in the back end to do the actual deletion all right so we will close this particular editor now we can also create variants if you want so you can say that i want to change the variant provide the variant name say for example z document number because we are uh, using the document number and item so i would rather say document number and item and zero one just one so this is the variant that means in this variant i'll be using document number and item number to do the selective deletion and then click on create it's going to ask you what is the document number so we'll go back to our screen we will copy this again just to make sure it is in the clipboard and then we will come down here we'll give the document number go back there give the item number with the leading zeros so the format should be properly there maintained and click hit enter so automatically it has taken this and now you can say uh, run in background or you can actually go to attributes and you can give the name of this particular variant as deletion using document number and item uh, yeah that should be good enough and then click on save so your and then click on save again and then it will say value of variant saved successfully so now so this particular variant is saved so you can close this come back and now this particular variant is ready you can put this program name and the variant name in your process chain as well if you want to run it periodically so now we'll go back and we will go back again and come again to se38 to, uh, to make sure we have a fresh start then this program name is already there and now we can run it with the variant so we will say with variant you provide the variant name say okay so it is already there with the values it will show you you can say simulate if you want to just simulate it and actually see uh, whether it succeeds or not without actually deleting it but in our case we'll directly go for it okay so we are deleting item number 20 it will ask you do you want to proceed yes i want to proceed with the deletion and if you're doing it for the first time it might also ask you for a transport request and if it does ask you for a transport request then you can just say local object so that it goes in the dollar tmp so it clearly says one data record deleted so that is good that's what is expected come out of it come out of it completely and then you go back to the screen and hit refresh here 
So as you can see, the item number 20 is deleted and only 10 remains. So my friends, the answer to the question whether the uh, possibility to generate a selective deletion program exists in BW4 HANA 2.0 or not? And the answer is absolutely that functionality remains the same. Thank you very much for listening to this video. I hope this helped you uh, understand the functionalities and features available in BW4 HANA 2.0. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for regular video updates. Thank you and have a good one.